Welcome back to this week's Fighting Irish Extra. I'm your host, Claire Cooney. We're here in the Goog weight room where our athletes get their pump on. I thought we'd start by a little tour of the Goog weight room. Excuse me, uh, could you guys keep it down? I'm uh, trying to lift over here. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're just trying to... Wait, are you Mike Golick? One of Notre Dame's stud offensive linemen? What are you doing here? Didn't you have practice earlier today? Yeah, that's me. Uh, you know, nothing like the feeling of getting a post-practice pump on before you go to class. But uh, I gotta get back to work, so you guys gotta get out of here. Actually, we're wondering, could you help me host the fix and recap what happened in sports this weekend? Oh yeah, I've heard of that. I'd love to. We start with softball, who opened up Big East play this weekend. They swept UConn in a three-game series. I love softball. I always go and check out the game for uh, pointers. I play a little slow pitch myself. Nice, so. nice. I don't. Behind a three-run homer from Danny Miller and Winter's eight strikeouts, the Irish took game one, 5-2. In game two, the Irish added 10 hits to give O'Donnell the 7-3 win. Sunday saw the Irish knock 11 hits for a 7-2 win over the Huskies. Notre Dame wraps up this homestand with a game against Northwestern this Wednesday at 5 p.m. You can watch it live right here on UND.com. It was an exciting weekend for both the men's and women's lacrosse teams who won their contests on the road. Just out there ripping twine all day, G-Sauce up and down the field. Although trailing 12-11 with one minute remaining in overtime, the number six Notre Dame women's lacrosse team scored two goals in 30 seconds to stun Rutgers 13-12. Senior Maggie Thomasitis dished a pass to junior Jenny Granger, who planted the equalizer in the back of the net with 59 seconds remaining. After a draw control by senior Kate Newall gave the Irish the ball one last time, Thomasitis delivered the game winner to sophomore Margaret Smith with just 22 seconds left in the game. The number six Notre Dame men's lacrosse team upped its win streak to six games with a 13-6 win over St. John's on Sunday afternoon in the Conica Minolta Big City Classic at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Notre Dame, 7-1 on the season, 2-0 Big East, trailed 4-3 at halftime, yet outscored St. John's 10-2 in the second half en route to the victory. The Fighting Irish return home to face Providence on Saturday. The game will be live on UND.com at 1.30. Finally, the Fighting Irish baseball team spent the weekend in sunny Tampa, Florida for a weekend series with the South Florida Bulls. I love me some of that Florida sun, but uh, the Bulls, not no. so much. Friday saw extra innings for Notre Dame. They won 8-3 in 10 innings. Sophomore pitcher Dan Slania picked up the victory and improved to 3-0 on the season. Freshman Connor Biggio broke the extra play with a two-run single. Saturday, the Bulls even the series with an 11-6 win. Irish junior pitcher Adam Norton picked up the loss. And on Sunday, the Irish dropped the rubber match 6-4. Junior catcher Joe Hudson went 2-for-3 with a triple and two runs scored. The team now sits at 16-10 overall and 4-2 and in the Big East. And finally, a big congrats to Notre Dame men's basketball head coach Mike Bray, who engineered one of the most surprising seasons in school history who on Friday was named the Jim Phelan National Coach of the Year. Stay tuned to UND.com all this week for more videos, highlights, and interviews with the women's basketball team as they continue their quest for the championship on Tuesday against the Baylor Bears. Also, don't forget to check out some exclusive spring football video only available at UND.com. Remember to like us on Facebook at Notre Dame Athletics and follow us on Twitter at UND underscore com. For Fighting Irish Extra and UD.com, I'm Claire Cooney. And I'm Mike Golick. Go, Go Irish. Irish! Get back to work. <laughs>